Hello everyone, this is Tailspin109, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. In the last video, we reclaimed all of our items from the Toe Case on Crescent Island, and now we're in Dungeon 3, the Moonlit Grotto, a dungeon that got me all oh, so stuck my first time playing this dungeon, and I will tell you exactly why when we get to that point. Oh, uh, first of all, uh, Paul's voice. Play music. But yeah, this is quite the dungeon. It's a fun one, though. And the music is amazing. This dungeon tune is a bop. I love it. So there we go. We got our first little chest there, the map. And as we can see, we've got two floors, both shaped as a moon, basically just uh, mirrored uh, vertically. Interesting. And it fits for the dungeon name Moonlit Moonlit Grotto. Although I must say, this is quite the brightest looking grotto I have ever laid eyes upon. And it's got Moldorm, so it's kind of evil. So let's go here and Helm of Thorson. Here we run into a little uh, dungeon mechanic here. You see, the goal of this dungeon is to break these four crystals that hold a pillar in place in this dungeon. In order to get to the lower floor, we need to break all four of these crystals so that we can explore the rest of the dungeon. And you know what? I'm going to talk to this guy because this game actually gets confusing. The four crystals tie it all together. Yes, indeed it does. And oh look, we have these. They're going to start being used much more deviously in this game than Oracle Seasons ever did. And look at that. Look at this. We're gonna have to make our way over. So we need to break these blocks in order to get the bombs through these ways so that we have a chance of actually making it through. And push this over, and there we go. How's this for a little puzzle? It's, 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 it looks kind of simple, but first time in playing, maybe you'll get stumped. But we can break this, and that's two of the crystals now. And now the puzzle culminates by um, pushing this into place. Hopefully you'll figure you need to do this. But it takes a little more movement due to how tight the spacing is in this room. And there we go, we get a key. The keys fall much slower in this than they do in Link's Awakening, I must say. There we go. That's the room with the pillar that will drop once we break all four of the crystals. So, okay, so far this dungeon hasn't been too terribly difficult. It's been kind of simple so far. Just, just wait. We gotta go around here. Great. Seriously, this is a jam. I love this tune so darn much. It's one of the most fun tunes in the game. Kind of like Dancing Dragon Dungeon in Oracle Seasons, this is another fun one, even if it doesn't really create the ominous feeling of a dungeon. Okay, this crystal was the one that gave me issues the first time I played this game. We'll get into it a little later, because at the moment I can't do anything with it. What do you say? Stone soldiers do not fear swords. You're referring to Armoses! Perfect! can't do anything with them yet. Oh man. I hate trying to kill these things because it's very easy to run out bombs just because of how much these guys move. Look at this, it's ridiculous. I mean, if there was a way I could stun them, but there isn't. This is one of my least favorite parts right here. Because it feels so random whether you're actually going to be able to do it or not. Look, I've only got three bombs. If I run out bombs, I have to grind for them, and they're all going to come back. That is generous. Thank you for that. There we go. That room is just evil. I hate that room. Okay, but we got a key, so why don't we use it to go up this way? Oh, whoa, whoa, these tiles waste no time at all, what the heck. 
Oh, I want that heart. I did not get the heart. So, we're gonna avoid these for a while. Yeah, wow, I don't remember these being so aggressive. I thought they gave you a little more time. There. Alright, I think we're about to get the dungeon item. So that's actually pretty sweet. I thought it took a little longer to get this. Then again, this dungeon took me forever to get through back in the day, so... I can't say much! Oh, thanks for the fairy. Thanks for the... Seed and money. Alright, let's go. Um... We'll get that chest later. Oh no, I have to get this right now. And this is... Uh-oh. I need to find a key. Alright then, I guess we're gonna drop down to the bottom floor for a while. And be careful of the monsters that are certainly going to try to kill me. Uh, I don't think we can do anything up here yet. No, we can't. That's from much later on. So let's go down here instead. Ah, oh, it's a Moldorm. At least he's trapped and can't hurt me. But I still don't like him all the same. We can't go that way. So we're going to go this way. Eh. I used to waste bombs here, but of course we should just play music. You know music is good when it wipes out evil. I love music. Imagine what this world would be without music. I think it would be kind of depressing, honestly. Alright. There we go. One more of those. We're making good leeway. Alright, let's see if I can kill this guy with, of course, bombs. Yeah, but as long as you throw the bomb center, it's probably always going to hit him. So it's not actually that bad. I can't get that! Oh, well, let's go this way. What have we got? Oh, wasn't that an interesting puzzle? See, the puzzles are more unique in this game. It's what makes this more fun, in my opinion, but I still hate Armulses a lot. Alright. So the key should be uh, right this way. Oh, it, it's a block puzzle, actually. Not terribly difficult, just create some symmetry. That's all. It should be faster to get back to where I have to go from this way, I, th I think. I don't actually quite remember, but I'm gonna go this way anyway. Oh yeah, this is definitely faster. la dee doo da Moonlit Grotto. It's so much fun. It is on. This is honestly a pretty darn enjoyable third dungeon for a game, Zelda game. The music is wonderful and does quite a bit to stand out on its own. It's it's decently challenging, which for a game that's focused on puzzles, it, it should be getting somewhat tricky here. But I dock a point for this thing because it makes things take too long. Alright, there we go. Do not get eaten by the like-like. Oh, I gotta deal with this again. I don't want to deal with this again. It's annoying. Alright, let me get out my shield. Just so that I can just do this. A oh, what? It's two. Well, maybe this will work. I feel like this could have gone better. Look at all the health I lost. I need more health. Hello, health. Health. I don't know where the health is. But I got a key, so let's go. Ow. Oh, no. Might I actually die here? Oh, I... S okay, okay, that's a little better. Alright, we're about to pick up our dungeon item. Oh! First stupid enemies. No! I don't like Moldorms. Good, you're dead. Give me this. This is the seed shooter. 
pick your seat, fire, and watch them ricochet. So this is basically a cooler version of the slingshot, because you can aim it. And then it bounces about. So let's light this torch to, uh, get out of here. Can I get more hearts first, actually? No, I'm not gonna get hearts. Pity. I'll be safer up here. Alright, so there's just one more of those little things left to hit, and then we're done with the first floor. How nice. So it's, it's pretty involved, honestly. You do have to think quite a bit. And now we're up to the point where I really got lost the first time I played this game. You see, I had trouble getting the last crystal taken care of. I'm also having trouble keeping my health up, if I only had a boomerang. You see, um, the crystal up here? When I first played this game, I did not know you could aim diagonally. I never tried turning my aim, so I always tried to just figure out some other way to hit this crystal, when all I had to do was turn left just a little bit. That took me so long to figure out when I was a kid, because the game didn't tell you you could go diagonally. Now, before we go downstairs completely, where the pillar once was, we can now get one more treasure chest. Gasha seed, and there we go. We're halfway through the dungeon, and still almost 12 minutes in. Goodness, the dungeons in this game are much longer than in Oracle of Seasons. What the heck? Alright, let's go. We've got a lot to do now. And this is where things are going to start probably getting a little lost on me, because I don't exactly recall what to do by this point. Also, I've only had a way of dealing with these Helmosaurs more easily right now, but I don't. Alright, so, which blocks can we push off? Because we gotta light these torches here. Oh, right, yeah. I think it's these, yeah. So, we need to bounce these in a way so that we can get both torches lit. Fun little puzzle! That's probably one of the most interesting torch puzzles of any Zelda game, but it was just for a Gasha seat, so you don't have to even do it, apparently. Alright, let's continue on. I think it's time to fight the mini-boss. I still don't have the compass. I didn't miss it, did I? I hope not. I would hate it if I actually missed it. Uh, we're gonna want the shovel for the mini-boss, but first, what's this way? I can't get that. Alright, mini boss time with Sub Terror. As long as I'm on the ground, your attacks don't scare me! So we're gonna wanna dig him out, and then hit him. Ah, eh, just take the hits, honestly. You'll get a fairy when the fight's over, anyway. Hey, hey, hey! If you don't get him out in time, he's going to try to drill you with his nose. There. Not a terribly difficult mini-boss, though. Still pretty unique, honestly. I mean, it's rare you actually have to fight a boss by digging. Great. More stupid Moldorms. Alright, uh, it's time to solve a puzzle. I solved it. Are you proud of me now? And there's the boss door. We're not able to go there yet. Alright, now I think to progress... We're gonna have to, like, go all the way around. And I mean all the way around. Yeah, we need to do something like that and or there's two different ways we could do this but we need to adjust things and oh wait 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 this way slower yeah, okay i'm going to go back into the teleport
Wait, right? Hold on, I gotta get my bearings straight. Oh yeah, that's a one way. Come here, there we go. This part is a little tricky, okay. So we're going to play some music. They apparently have super sensitive hearing. And it would be faster, I think, to just go through that door by killing this guy. Let's try using Sensei. There we go. You can use this as a weapon too. Oh, that doesn't work. Oh wow, I didn't get him. But I avoided him, so that's something. Alright, there. Alright, we're back in the beginning, so now we're gonna drop into the teleporter. And... Go through! Because now, this... Spinner is facing the other direction, so we can finally get here. That's an awful lot just to go one way. Oh, here's an interesting mechanic. When you step and get off this switch, these little things here adjust, so we need to get this facing the correct way in order to shoot through here. Interesting puzzle mechanic. Alright, and th this is... Oh, goodness. I think I actually missed the compass. Where's... The compass. I missed it. I'm at the end of the dungeon, and I never found the compass. Uh, pardon me, guys, as I now just um, rescour every inch of this dungeon for what I missed. I can't believe this actually happened. Was the compass wasn't in this room, was it? Oh, shoot! I don't actually remember! Whoa! Um... This hasn't happened to me in some time. But now I want to find it. I really want to find it. Oh my. Do I still have my... Oh, thank goodness. I thought I lost my shield there. I know this dungeon has a compass. The question is, where is it? I'm stuck in here again. Maybe it is en route to the boss, and I could have gone in earlier. Yeah, I'm gonna- I'm just gonna have to check that, because I don't actually know where to look for the compass, and it's definitely not in these upper rooms. Hopefully I've gone in everything in this dungeon. It feels weird not actually knowing what the compass of a dungeon is. That feels very weird. It feels wrong! Well, whatever, I guess I'll just head to the end of the dungeon. The compass is probably on the way. You know, let's just kill the pea hats with fire. And um, look at that. More puzzles. Uh, is the compass- Okay, this has got to be it. What? Where is the darn- I- I don't actually know where the compass is. Oh my gosh, um... Sorry guys, I don't know where the compass is. But I'm at the boss now, so it's, it's a little too late.
Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to look that one up because the dungeon is over. Anyways, let's fight the boss. Her, her name is Shadow Hag. <laughs> you cannot see who I am, for I am your shadow! <coughs> Alright, so we need to avoid uh, the shadows until she starts regrouping. Once she regroups, she will summon some bugs and then try and chase her. We need to hit her while without looking at her or she will fade away. That's so we need to make use of the seed shooter's rebound. There we go, you're probably only gonna be able to get one hit in at a time, so Yeah. And after twice, she will split again. The hardest part is dodging the shadows, because they can move around quite a bit. Oh, I got her twice. Look at that. Okay, done. Cool boss. Just not too terribly hard. Definitely easier than the head form, So, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what happened with the compass. I'll have to look it up and tell you guys some other time, okay? But I didn't find it. If there even is a compass in this dungeon. <laughs> um. <laughs> I, I feel weird. You know what? Maybe I'll look it up right now. Oh, but there's a cutscene. Ambie's tower will soon be complete. Once Ambie's tower is done. History shall remember me as the greatest of queens! Oh, is it time to kill my voice again? <coughs> Link! You are the echoing how! But things are not going well. The Black Tower's nearing completion in the past! Terrible things will happen if you don't hurry! I hear a message echoing from the peaks northwest of Lina City. Can you go? Well, maybe, but you'll have to wait. Now, uh, hang on. Before I stop the video, let me search for, a uh, compass. I, I have a lot of scrolling to do, but I will find it because I want to tell you guys if there was a compass or not. Oh shoot, there was a compass. Where was it? Compass... Let's see... The compass was where? You kill the Armo statue... In that room... Where you need to get it moving to enter the staircase on the bottom floor, and that's where it is. I don't think I've ever gone in it. Wow. Um, sorry for that mess, folks, but, um, next video, we gotta leave this area. Until then, though, this has been Tales from 109, and have a nice day.